welcome to News You Should Know. It's Tuesday, so I'm talking to you about all the entertainment stuff that you actually want to know about from the past week. And I'm talking a lot about like social media and gadgets and tech stuff that's interesting. And of course, celebrities, internet celebrities, and internet phenomenons, because I love all that stuff. Um, I'm going to start with something that annoys all of us, especially if you live in a city, parking. It's kind of cool. There's these new smart parking meters that are coming out in certain areas in the U.S. and hopefully to L.A. soon that will let you pay for a parking meter with your cell phone. You enter the space number and your credit card into your, into your phone and it pays for your parking. And it will even text you 10 minutes before your meter is up so you can go refill it so you don't get a ticket. Pretty cool, I think. Would you guys use this? Let me know in the comments if you would. I definitely would, even though there might be some security issues. I won't even get into that because I think it's a cool new technology. So from parking now to celebrities, In Touch Weekly has been reporting this morning actually that Will and Jada Smith have split, but don't believe it. I don't believe it. Um, no one else is reporting it, so you can't really believe it until another really reputable site confirms. And speaking of marriages, Kim Kardashian, of course, we all know got married this past weekend in Montecito, which is by Santa Barbara in California. And she got married at a Google executive's house, Eric Schmidt. I wonder how much she had to pay him to have a wedding in his house. I just think the whole getting married at someone else's house is a weird thing. I think the idea of getting married at your own house is great, but um, the other person's house is a little strange to me. But anyways, what I wanted to bring up about Kim was that she made 17 0.9 million dollars on her wedding. All thanks to her mom, of course, who put the deals together. So thanks, mom. Kim, I hope you give your mom a big kiss for that. She put together all these endorsement deals, and I actually have the breakdown for you. Not to mention all the stuff she got for free for the wedding, like $10,000 worth of free wedding invites and a $20,000 Vera Wang dress that she got for free. So I actually want to know what her expenses were to know how much she profited. 17.9 million. That's a heck of a lot of money. I read this morning that 15% of the American population is on food stamps. Maybe Kim should have donated the money to the government for letting her get married for a second time and putting us through all the press that we had to absorb from her wedding. Just a thought, from Kim Kardashian who loves to tweet, I'm gonna talk about Twitter. Twitter finally created their own photo uploader. Thank you, we've been needing that. I'm sick of using Wifog, which backfires sometimes in TwitPic. They have their own photo uploader, and they announced yesterday that now they have their own photo galleries, which will aggregate all the photos that you've ever tweeted since January 1st of 2010, so last year, into an organized page on your profile. Just go to your Twitter profile, and on the right side you'll see a few photos um, as a preview, and then it will say show more. So just click on show more, and you'll see a whole page of all someone's photos. Now you can stock them easily on Twitter, just like Facebook, it's all coming together. The only thing that sucks is that if you want to delete one of your photos, you have to delete the tweet that the photo came from. That's counterproductive to me. Maybe in Twitter we can change that. Thanks. The last thing I'm going to mention for this week is that Disney had an expo this past weekend. Didn't know if you knew there was a Disney convention. It was at the Anaheim Convention Center and it's called D23 for 1923 when the Disney company was founded. Thank you very much for that piece of knowledge. Um, they announced new movies that they're making. They had trailers and sneak peeks for movies like The Avengers and John Carter. They also announced what was coming with um, the theme parks, the new rides and stuff. They also had an archive where they showed props and costumes from some of the movies for people to look at. And another big draw was the Collectors Forum with unique Disney merchandise you could buy. Art pieces, life-size robots vintage stuff, you name it, it was probably there. Two of the movies that they announced was Oz the Great and Powerful, which stars James Franco, Rachel Wise, Michelle Williams, Mila Kunis, and Zach Braff. Also announced was Disney Toon Studios movie Planes, and John Cryer, the guy from Two and a Half Men, is the voice of the main character, and he was there to announce the trailer that they showed at D23. 
do you two three it up? Maybe we'll go next year. I didn't go. And sorry I didn't tell you guys sooner in case people in the LA area wanted to go. I'll get better about that. Sorry guys. Anyway, it's Tuesday and I hope you enjoyed the show. You should totally follow me on Twitter. Ready? At Misty City LA. I'll see you guys next week.